Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today on our YouTube channel here at Doc's Unique Collectible, where our goal is to find that, I want to say perfect, but no such thing, almost perfect, uh, collectible that you really need or something that you're, you know, something you're trying to collect to fill up your man cave or decorate your home with. And, and that's what we specialize here at, at our location in El Paso. Uh, more so being because nowadays everything is ordered online and there's nothing like seeing it with your own eyes versus just seeing it with your own eyes on a screen, you know. But when you see it with your own eyes and you're holding it, you're like, yep, yeah, I need this. And, and that's really what we're trying to do. So today we're not going to unbox anything. Uh, we're going to be doing that uh, in a couple days. We've got some really cool things to unbox also. But just wanted to give you an idea of what we have and kind of walk around the shop real quick so you can see the difference, you know, because we're not just a toy store. We're a collector's dream shop, and that's really what our motto stands um, as for, for what we do. But you have action figures from retro movies, you know, old movies, Back to the Future, to recent Marvel movies, uh, the the Eternals, and I just got this one because Angelina is uh, you. <laughs> that is not what you said. That is not the word you used. Or I, yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to retract that. <laughs> and then from things you definitely will never see at a big box retailer store, like these here, the the Wandering Earth the action figures from a. Uh, from a movie that I just, you know, that's on Netflix right now. That's a sci-fi movie, which is really cool. Um, <laughs> no coffee break. Sorry, what? Just kidding. I had to pause real quick because the phone rang and it, it uh, kind of rattled my brain. A little, so I, I lost the frame of thought. But so we want to walk around and show you some of the nice things that we do carry. Uh, because, you know, it could be for yourself. It could be for a friend, uh, a gift, mm -hmm. for any occasion, right? Um, so sometimes they struggle on what should I get them? You know, I know they like Spider-Man, for instance. Uh, what can we get for Spider-Man? You know, we got Spider-Man everywhere from hot toys to lounge ride bags. So come on, check this out. Uh, back up here, we've got uh, stat uh, action figures and statues. Primarily Star Wars. This this is a really personal favorite of mine. Uh, this is that uh, the probe droid uh, used in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the Rancor. You like, like uh, lightsabers? We got lightsabers. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk around with this and show you. Point. <laughs> this is gonna be my pointer. There you go, pointer. Uh, art prints. We also do Close really ones. high quality art prints. They're numbered. They're not posters. I know. She's already I whispering mean. posters, posters. No, they're not posters. Uh, we also do um, these little display cases from just a simple cube. Won't do anything but protect your hot toy. And I always say, if, you, if you're going to invest in an action figure, you got to protect it. To so these over here that will rotate and they have an LED light that's integrated into the, into the case. We do... Funko Pops, Funko Sodas, um, these little moment type Funkos, uh, the, those large oversized ones, right? We have old product, <laughs> old vintage. Oh, vintage. So, uh, well, yeah, this is from 1994, so yeah, oh, no this is vintage. Yeah, this 29, is, uh, is it? 29 years old, so I guess you could consider him vintage. And we have some other ones, you know. Um, lounge light bags. Check out the lounge light bags. Two plushies. No, oh, so sorry. <laughs> he sounded like Andrea. <laughs> I know. That's where she gets it from. Lounge light bags. Uh, Iron Man. Uh, mm -hmm. Which Thanos. one's your favorite lounge light bag? My favorite lounge light yeah. is this. I love Spider-Man. But you know, like these here, these crossbodies are really cool. There's Django Fett and his son Boba Fett to Disney 100. That's really nice. Um, 
but she's to some crazy statues. Doctor Doom, Tila, uh, Tom and Jerry. If you like that old, if you like that old Tom and Jerry cartoon, uh, we, we've got one of that's our last statue there. Fairy uh, fairy tale fantasies. Uh, J. Scott Campbell is an amazing artist. This is these are all his concept uh, statues. Star Wars. We have, this is the wall of this is the wall of Lucas Arts. You have to show your picture with Chewie. Mm -hmm. This one here. Yep. There's there's me and uh, the late Mr. Peter Mayhew. He was here in El Paso back in I think it was 2013. They were doing a uh, science con. I think is what they called it at the Marriott on Airways in Montana. Um, went specifically to meet him and uh, he was already in a wheelchair poor dude his his knees just would not hold up he had a hard time walking um, so yeah I got him got him to sign my Chewbacca no, not my Chewbacca the action figure <laughs> Chewbacca <laughs> yeah we're here uh, tip your waiters we're here every Sunday uh, this is this is the one of the expansions we made um, like, to put more mid February. Yeah, it was in mid February when we did this. And man, that was a, a lot of work. But from Prime One Masterline Museum pieces, statues, we've got a couple of them. This is a premium format from Sideshow Mandalorian. We have Ninja Turtle stuff. We've got the, you know, these these are the really nice art prints that they're encased in their tube. They're specific tube for proper uh, storage. They're numbered, limited again, limited edition. Really nice, really nice figures. We do uh, <clears throat> Hot Wheels. Not a lot of Hot Wheels. Um, most of the ones I had have pretty much been sold. But we have a few Hot Wheels here. Then uh, display some of of the uh, really nice statues that we've uh... unboxed. Oh, yeah, thank you. I was trying to think of a word. See why I go into a freeze when, <laughs> when you just walk away? This this one the here. The phone rang, I'm sorry. This one here is one of my favorites. And, and we did unbox that an unboxing. That was a fun unboxing. But it was. man, that just is so cool. Just putting them all together like that. Um, then we've got old Battlestar Galactica items starting lineup figures from man, these are from 1997 Whew, wow, these are old Star Trek figures more Hogan Jurassic Park statues more Star Trek things you know more collectibles wow we, we've got to reorganize this uh, die cast vehicles aliens uh, the old, the old, old, old uh, monster movies that, as a kid, you know, me growing up, black and white, you know, they were pretty scary. So, but these are just classic movies. Some Godzilla items. Super 7 figures, the reaction, more Hot Wheels. So, yeah, we, we have just a lot of different things at our shop we don't we don't go just for one item like just all funko pops or all statues or everything's high dollar no we there's there's a wide range and it just depends on what is it you'd like to collect again because we want to make that collect the collection the collectible is that the right word collectible dream come true yeah uh if we don't have it we deal with some amazing uh suppliers vendors uh, we'll definitely try to our best to find it for you and that way you can put it at home. But I mean, look at this Captain America. I'm That's, surprised no one's taken that one. I yet. know. And and it's just such an awesome figure. That's so clever to start small. Here's more art prints over here. That's a really nice one. To anime we we we're trying to expand on on our anime stuff you know it's um uh, not the greatest but we have a nice little selection to some this here this little statue from disney it's just beautiful you know to some really nice 
selective limited edition pops from El Snoop Dogg to some different chases. McFarlane figures. We have a lot of McFarlane figures. The, see, so this will give you an idea of, of just how vibrant these art prints are. Look at the colors of this one here. That one's, that one's a really nice one. That's beautiful. I love it. This is our shop. You know, we thought we'd give you a little tour of where we do our videos at and... Um, okay, but you got to explain the barbershop sign. The barbershop sign. <laughs> this, this, this location here, many, many years ago, opened up, started, it's funny, it started out as a uh, dog grooming location. And I used to bring my dog here. It's, it's funny. It, it kind of, I lost my mind, but uh, I used to be a groomer, pet groomer. Then it turned into a barbershop. When we, when we took it over, the barbershop had just closed. And I walked in and I saw this and I thought, I'm not going to knock that down. Uh, so we fixed it up. It used to spin, but the motor burned out. Uh, I, just for talking piece, you know, it's a little bit of a little bit of a history for what the shop used to be. And then for for the in case you're saying, well, what about the dog groomer? <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> we have a little something too. Yeah, <laughs> they used to give out these little uh, bone magnets. No way. Yeah, yeah. Is that so, why you kept that? Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that. Yeah, so uh, it's got a little history. Now it's it's a collectible shop, and we need your support so we can be here for many, many more years to come. That's really what we want to do. We just want to keep bringing some really cool collectibles here to West Texas, an El Paso, and and again, there's nothing like walking into a place where you can see it, and you're like, wow! I just here's an example, you know. Remember this show? Battlestar Galactica, the original from the 70s, the Cylon base. It's a model kit. And what goes with it? The Galactica itself, right? The Battlestar Galactica. This one, it has some uh, extra decal sets on it. Two. I always get a kick out of this one when I see it. Aww. The dinosaur, the talking Rex. Rex. <laughs> yeah, so we have a look. A lot of stuff here and uh oh your star wars your vintage oh yeah the, you know and, and really the the star wars collection has kind of diminished well yeah. no not kind of it has just because that's what we used to start up our business i was collecting star wars products since 1984 i think it was 84 and uh it was hard to let a lot of those pieces go, but you know, when you do a start a business, you gotta start somewhere and that's what happens. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a small little shop. And that's why I call it a shop. It's not a store. It's a nice little shop because it's quaint. We try to keep it organized as best as we can with some really nice products just everywhere. Do we carry everything? No, we're not a Toys R Us. Toys R Us was like, Dang, right uh we can't there's just too much but uh what we do have in 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 our shop we try to carry pieces that are just that'll just blow your mind you know? uh, so yeah, hopefully if you're in this area west texas and el paso look us up we're online uh we'd love to have you here it'd be it'd be fun to show you around and if there's something we love to do is talk about collective toys so yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, just something really quick and brief. And uh, hopefully we'll see you soon. Thanks.